it's time to run you through the behind the scenes of the BMW E28 video that I filmed. divided into three different scenes. The first scene was the car wash scene. The second scene was an underground car park where we got still park shots of badges, logos, interiors, and the rims. Now the third and final scene that we did was the rolling shots. What I wanted to do was I wanted to get a drone shot of the skyline just when it was hitting dusk. And then I also wanted to get a drone shot of him entering the car wash. I found that was a great way to establish a scene before we actually get into the scene of him washing his car. So I switched my camera into 1080p at 100 frames per second. So I was able to capture slow motion of the water basically bouncing off the car as he was washing it. Now this was one of my favorite scenes that I've filmed for a car video so far. It's something so simple, but it was so effective for the video. And because I chose to shoot it in slow motion, it just worked so perfectly. So I got a couple of different angles of him washing the car. I got a couple of front angles. I got a rear angle, and then I got a couple of detail shots too. I also got some shots of him drying the car too. So he grabbed a cloth out of his car, and I got a shot of him just basically drying the logo and the badge, and also the rims too. Now, after the car wash scene, we ended up going to an undercover car park. The reason I wanted to go to an underground car park for this shoot was so that I could use the fog machine and I could get some slow motion shots of him standing in front of the car, but I could also get some slow motion shots of him switching on the headlights. Just by the front here. Yeah. He'll be inside for this one and he's gonna switch the headlights on and Brian's just gonna spray smoke around the car. Just wait for me to tell you to turn on the lights because he's going to put smoke in front of the lights so it, it looks cool. And now go to the back of the car. Go now. Do you reckon you could hold this as well? Maybe about there is good. Now his E28 is actually bagged. I wanted to make sure I got sound of him airing out from the front and also from the rear. Yeah, just slide down so it faces towards the ceiling. I'll get one from the front too. You may have seen I ended up using a couple of neon lights for this shoot. Now these neon lights are super effective when you want to add a bit of extra flavor into videos. These lights are super convenient cause you can actually change the color. Now I ended up setting it to more of a blue tone and I could also put it just in front of the car so we could light up the fog in front of it for the slow motion clips. We decided to end the video by filming some rolling shots. So we got some rolling shots of the front of the car and also a couple of rolling shots just of the rear of the car. Now you might be wondering what camera settings I actually use for this shoot. I ended up shooting most of it in 1080p at 100 frames per second in a picture profile of S-Log2. That meant that I had to shoot at a minimum ISO of 800, but since we were shooting at night anyway, and the A7 III can handle low light and high ISOs very well, it didn't matter too much that I had to raise the ISO. I shot with the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 lens. Once you get used to the convenience from mid-range zoom, it's really hard to go back to prime lenses. And the gimbal that I use is the DJI Ronin SC version 2. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more photography and videography content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.